The minister. The minister. Hey, uh, Peter. Yeah. Just to echo what you're saying, you, you answered half of my question. I sit here as a, a, a government representative for film and television in the province of Alberta, and I look at what we produce, and if we're honest with ourselves, I look at it and say, why do I produce so much shit? How, why do I fund so much crap? Why do collectively we do it? Why are the broadcasters not picking up more Canadian content? Because the Canadian content isn't what it should be. We've got the best talent that are sitting there in Los Angeles at a myriad of roles from top to bottom, so somehow we can't get that phrase on Detra working here. And I'm, I'm just trying to figure out... Well, I wonder, do I wonder if I was a big network executive in this country making money hand over fist, simultaneously broadcasting American productions, if they actually made good Canadian stuff, which is not as profitable for them, in fact, it's far less profitable, then it probably wouldn't serve them very well if they did that. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I have a funny feeling that if they don't make good shows, if they do make shows for 25 cents, then the Canadians will turn around and say, eh, God, it looks so Canadian. God, why do we do such shit in this country? Why do we need the CBC for? Come on, get rid of it. Check G. That's my answer. Well, look, if you make a great show and it'll make tons of cash, like retarded amounts of cash, you know, you can make a Canadian show or a Norwegian show if everybody watches it, then it makes lots of money if people are just not making good content here. And, you know, it's, it's, you're right, you know, what, Eric, why, if they're doing three pilots a year, maybe they should do 23 to 6 minute demos, you know, and then, then go to a pilot or something. But uh, who knows, like, who knows? Yeah, uh, a lot of it's our fault and everybody's fault. And, but and, also, I asked this question uh, out of ignorance, but I mean, it, it felt like to me 15 years ago, the biggest problem was that no, you could make what you wanted, it wasn't being watched by Canadians, that to get Canadians to watch was, was the tough part. And as you say, they're not spending money on marketing, and when they do, it looks, I'm sorry, it looks like Canadian marketing. It does not go, I gotta see that. The last time I saw a real Canadian something marketed like an American something, it was the Paul Gross curling movie, which they made look like something you better show up to. I don't know how many people did, but it looked like you should. Men of the Men of on CBC, yeah. Yes, Christoph Waltz is starring in it. Christoph Waltz is starring in it. That's how we wrap things up. Your what question over there?